Hello, everybody. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Lily, and today we are going to play with Dina Wakely's stamps. And I kind of already started without you. Sorry. What I was going to do was make more of these little Frida booklets, and I made these sometime last year where I took avocado dyed index cards, folded in half, and then stamped my little Dina Wakely uh, Frida on here, and then gave her a little uh, little sarape, or a Mexican shawl. And yeah, so I wanted to make more of these. So, because I only had a few left. And I, I feel like I needed a hundred more. But instead, I was inspired to do this, by Sheila Cross. She is on Instagram and I remembered that she had created an altered index card except she used it you know the entire length of it and then did what she calls an assemblage which is like a collage on the index card but instead of working on index cards I decided to work on the um envelopes that I have and I have coffee dyed envelopes and I have avocado dyed envelopes but I want to use these, the coffee dyed ones. And so this is, this is what I did. Um, she calls it, Sheila Cross calls it an assemblage and I'm going to call it a collage because it, it's basically the same thing. It's just layering bits and pieces of things and then adding a focal point. The other thing that I did was I added a, a little collage or a cluster in the back. And that's because this card was all beat up. When I coffee dyed it, the the um the sticky kind of sealed the envelope, and then I had to rip it apart. But I kind of liked the way that looked, except it tore all the way down here. I added some washi just to hold it together, and then I'm gonna move this out of the way to show you the crazy mess that is my desk or my table. So I'm gonna move. <laughs> I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move this one aside, along with my little Frida index card booklets. Maybe we'll make more of these another time, but it's very similar to what I'm going to do today. Okay. So, um, I added some, some gold shine to her. And, uh, so I'm going to set her aside so she can finish drying. So here we go. Ta -da! It's a mess. You guys, it is a mess, a creative mess. Okay. So I don't want to go too far. I don't want to put that box too far because I am going to be using it to use more of the um of the gold shine and by the way have you guys seen I know this is out of production and but Tim Holtz came out with a bronze metallic spray and I cannot wait to get my hands on it um it's on my wish list, so I'm going to get it this is gold but Tim Holtz's is bronze and oh I'm so excited so I, I will hopefully get that um, in the near future. But for now, we're going to keep using the Heidi Swap Gold Shine um, because I have it. Okay, so what we are going to do is work on, let me grab some envelopes. And here's my little, here's my little envelope stand. <laughs> so I'm going to grab some envelopes. Let's grab a grungy one. Let's see if I have any that are grungy. Well, that, that one will do. So we'll start with one. That one's kind of small. I'm going to grab a bigger one. That one's a little, oh, that one's nice. That one's a little bit larger. Okay. So, oh, and I was telling you about, about this one here, how I added that cluster. So as I'm organizing my basement, I came across, and I, I'm, I don't know how this happened, but I came across a box of scraps, you guys. A 12 by 12, the craft keeper, full of scraps. And so what I want to do, and so that's what gave me the idea to um, use up the scraps. And so that's where these came from. I've kind of pulled a few out that I want to use as a collage or to build a little cluster to place Frida on. And that 12 by 12 craft keeper had an envelope of clusters like these right here. This is something that I probably started working on sometime, oh, uh, 
maybe two years ago because remember I wasn't in California uh, last year except for when I was packing. So I want to say these were done in 2019. I started to create clusters and well, there they are. They were in that 12 by 12 crop keeper. Anyway, so I, what I did is I took that cluster, I took one of them and then glued it down. There's other um, little bits and pieces that I glued on top, but the base was one of these. So that is what I'm going to do. I keep grabbing this. It's still kind of wet. Isn't that pretty? The way the gold shine kind of glimmers. I love it. Okay. So let's make, let's continue and let's see how many of these I can make in under 30 minutes. Okay. Oh, and I have these little things. These are offcuts from coffee dyed paper. You can see that there. And then I took a black pen. I think I used this one, the Dilutions uh, black ink pen. And then I just drew a line across to make a little like a faux label. So maybe we'll use one of those. The first thing I want to do, I was playing with paint, you guys. I mean, I was just getting all kinds of creative messy. Okay. So I do want to stencil. I'm going to stencil um, with this in the background. This is Wendy Vecchi's. Wendy Vecchi? Yes. Wendy Vecchi's uh, stencil, brick stencil. So I want to do this. I'm going to use this paint right here. I grabbed this color because I like it. I don't know if, if it'll match, but let's see where it goes. Okay, what else? And so I can't find things that are on my desk, even though they're right in front of me. Okay, all right. So I really uh, have no, no direction other than the inspiration from Sheila Cross. If you wanna see what I'm talking about, she is on Instagram, Sheila Cross. And you could see how, I think it was last month that she played around with the Dina Wakely stamp. So I'm using this because it is what I had handy. And I think these are just the cosmetic wedges. I picked these up a while back at the um, Dollar Tree. So let's just add a little background. Let's see. It's subtle, but I like it. Can you see that? Ooh, maybe I'll do this color next. Okay. So then what am I going to do? I need my, I need my, uh, I need this for inspiration. <laughs> okay. So then I took some, I'll put you right there. I think I grabbed, I had some of these. These I just painted a few minutes ago. This is, I jelly printed it. So let me, my scissors. So these are jelly printed stencils from a, a stencil die. So I'm going to glue that there. I just felt like playing around today and I thought I was getting more organized here in the basement as I've been moving and, you know, uh, packing things, but there are so many things I can't find and I was getting really frustrated. And so before I lost my mind with a few items that I did come across, I thought I'm going to play before I get crazy. Okay, and then let's layer some pieces of paper. Yeah, I can't believe, I can't believe I had more scraps. I honestly can't believe I had more scraps. I thought I was done with scraps, but are we really ever done with scraps? Obviously not if I still had that box. Oh, look, I think I cleaned off, <laughs> I cleaned off the um, paint on this paper. All right. And I just love, I want it to be grungy, but I also want it to be bright and vibrant. So. That is the, that's the idea. At least that's what I want to do. Um, let's add the Frida. So what I've already done, oh, I'm also going to use some of my Spanish words and phrases. So I, 
I had these, I pulled these out of the folder and I had already stamped the two different Frida stamps uh, using Memento Black ink, and then I also used um, the Ranger Archival ink, just in case I wanted to um, watercolor or use marker over that. So I know I've already fussy cut one. Where are you? Here you are. As neat as I want to create, it is. It's impossible. So let's add... I think I want to put her there, but let me give her some clothes. And this is a cloth washi tape that I've used in the past, but I don't know. Again, I don't know where it is. So I found this one. So let's use this one, which kind of resembles a, a Mexican sarape, right? Sarape also, a.k.a. Um, shawl. So how about that? So cute. Okay. And so let's put her there. And then what I like that Sheila Cross did is instead of adding flowers, you know, adding um, dimensional flowers or even 2D flowers or stickers onto her hair, she added a butterfly. And I just love the way that looked. And so, oh, look, it coordinates so nice. So these... These butterflies right here are from Artie Mays, and I've had these since last year. I had a little envelope with them. Here we go. Right here. They're from Artie Mays, Andrea at Artie Mays, and so I've already fussy cut a few of them. Well, there were a few that were fussy cut in there, so I grabbed those. So let's add. Let me add a butterfly to her hair because, as you can see here, I've added... This is a really a foam sticker that I just had in my stash that I added to her hair. And I really like the way that looks. I also like the way the sequence looks there. Gives it a little blink, but I really like... Oh, look at her. Oh, I like that. Oh, and I just noticed there are little bits of yellow. I think that's yellow in that washi tape. So it kind of... Coordinates. Anyway, it coordinates really good with this uh, chartreuse color here. Okay, let me glue her down. And I'm not gluing to the edge because just in case I want to stick more things behind her and keep layering. So my plan, you guys, the reason I wanted to work on Frida or why Frida was in the back of my mind is I have been collecting things to work on a Mexican-inspired junk journal, maybe a couple of them. And so I want to build my ephemera for those journals. I've been collecting bits and pieces for it for a few months now, and so that is the next journal that I want to work on. So that is why Frida came into play today. Um, let's grab a word. Oh, I also have, I have, I pulled, like, I, I went through some of the things that I had at, uh, uh, within reach and I pulled out some stickers that I thought would look nice. These are Maggie Home stickers. And then I also have these transfers that I have from Dollar Tree. I've had these for a while. So I like these because of the little bird. So I'm going to take one of these little birds and maybe stick the little bird right there. So cute. <laughs> so cute. Okay. And oh, I was I was going to going to cut out a word. So these words are in Spanish. I created these sometime last year and I just printed them. I created them in um as a word document and I saved them and then printed it on 8 and a half by 11 coffee dyed paper. And it looks, I just love the way that looks. Okay, let me see. Here we go. This one's nice. And it's just a collection of phrases, phrases that I grew up with, inspirational phrases, funny, funny words. And I'll let you know what this one says in just a second. Do I want to go long? 
this one reads, oh, these scissors are getting bad. I use these. This reads, tu único límite es tu mente, which translates to um, your mind is your only limit. Something like that. Okay, so I am going to, I wasn't going to stain the edges, but I wanted to pop a little bit on the paper. Okay. And, oh, I was going to use one of these. How about one of these? I don't know. Looks kind of big. Oh, I don't know. Maybe next time. Okay. So let's glue the words down. Your mind is your only limitation. That's what it means. Tu único límite es tu mente. You know, I love how there are creators that use um, French ephemera and I love the French journals, French inspired journals, but I also want to create, you know, my own um, Spanish, Spanish journals right here, right there. Okay, right here. I don't have any French ephemera, but I can make my own Spanish ephemera. <laughs> okay, so look at that. It looks kind of flat. It looks kind of dull. Oh, the other thing that I did is... I added some color to, can you see there? I added some color to the little flowers on her head and maybe that is what I will do. Um, so let me, I'll just do this one pink. Let's do a pink flower and just kind of roughly color it in. This is a uh, Prismacolor. So. It's just what I have on my desk. This one was Crayola. And maybe let's give her some, some rosy cheeks and some pink lips. Okay. I'm gonna give color her earrings. I mean, I could go on and on and on, right? Oh, I like that. So now, I am going to sprinkle, sprinkle some Heidi Swap Color Shine, okay? Oh, I forgot to do the back and add a cluster. So let me do that first. Okay, bring it back, turn you upside down. And I'm going to use one of these clusters here. That, oh, that one's cute. That one is nice. Can you guys hear all the ruckus that's going on upstairs? I hope not. Oh, that's pretty right there. That one? Maybe something brighter? This one? Okay, I'm just gonna use this one. So that's all I did, I just glued it down. That is all I did. And it's just scraps of paper that have been stapled together. And then I also added another phrase on the reverse. So you could see that there. Let's turn upside down so you could see. So I will add I'll add a single word. Whoa. Okay. This one says brilla, which means shine. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's glue down. Did 
there you go. Okay, now I will add the um, color shine. Okay, that's it. How's that one? What do you think? Let me know what you think. Okay. So let's set this one aside. And let's work on another one. I have some time. So set this aside. And I'll grab another envelope. This one. Okay. See how they were they were kind of sealed and I had to tear it apart or tear it open so it left it a little grungy there on the edge but I like the way that looks. Okay, so now I'm going to add I have some paint there. I don't want that paint to go to waste. So let me grab Let me just paint it on here. Okay. Let that dry somewhere. Okay. Woo! Oh, look. Oh, that's cool. The table shakes, but not the camera. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. All right. So I'm, I want to use this color. This like neon, just a little bit of paint. I think I overdid it with the other. Okay, Ooh. I'm gonna do that part, that side. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh my gosh, I need more paint. Oh, that's a nice color. I love the neon colors. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Yes, yes, girl. Okay, leave that mess for later. Okay, all right, and dry 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 and then what did I do I have all these little scraps that I could be using well this is pretty I like that they are hearts oh I like the way that looks I don't know let's go for it black hearts on vellum Oh, that looks cute. Okay, and now let's add, do we want to add that? Do we want to add this? Let's add this. I also don't want to spend too much time thinking about what I want to add. Sometimes you just go with your instinct. Your gut will tell you where to go, right? Okay, did I cut out another Frida? I don't think I did. So let me quickly cut out a Frida. Which one? This one. Okay. Ooh, whoops. I think later tonight I'm going to stamp some more Fridas and fussy cut them so I can have, have them ready. Okay. 
Oh, right there, like that. Yes. Okay, I want to use some paper. Oh, how about some gold? Oh, look at this green. Yes. Oh, look at the back. Okay, am I running out of time? I hope not. Is that going to show? Yeah. Okay, and do I want to... Oh, I know what I want to do. Yes. Just like that. Okay. Okay, cut the excess off. I know I'll do more off camera, but you can see my process here. Oh, I like that. I like the colors. <laughs> I like how they're bright and kind of all over the place, and I'm okay with that. Um, what else do I want to do? Uh, let's see. Oh, this is cool. Oh, that's too bright. Um, let's add, let's find a word. Oh, this one's nice. La vida es magia. Life is magical. Okay. Woo! I've had those scissors for a long time. So maybe, yes. Okay. Oh, let's add, yep, a little butterfly. Am I getting close? Am I getting close to 30 minutes? <laughs> Let's add a cluster. Look at all these scissors. First, I can't find one pair. Now I've got <laughs> four pair. That one. That one's nice. That one. Oh my gosh. That one. Whoa. This one. It just adds, I like to use the envelopes. I like to fold them over in the book pages of the journals. And so this way, when they're folded over like this on the journal, it'll be embellished like that. Okay. And then what if I add a little flower there? Not a flower, a butterfly. So let's put a butterfly over the staple. Okay, and what else? I do want to add more to the um, to her hair. Do we have time? Oh, we're running out of time. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna add some gold shine to to her, and and then that'll be it. That'll be it. Let's see. 
You guys, thank you so much for joining me. I know this was pretty quick. I say quick, but it is 30 minutes, you know. I'm just trying to work fast, trying to get a lot done today. I appreciate you guys being here. Let me know what you think. I will work on more of these and then begin working on the uh, Mexican-inspired junk journal. You guys, take care. Thank you again. I appreciate you all being here. You guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Thank you. Bye.